Welcome everybody in the first lesson of the Horn Course for Beginners. In this lesson I am going to talk about the correct posture and breathing warm-up exercises. A correct posture is very important for the ergonomics of horn playing. If you want to play the instrument for several hours a day, it is very important that you, that you do it in the right way to overcome back and shoulder pain. I have here the Alexander 103 model, which is already quite an ergonomic horn. As you can see here, the bell is a little bit bent in this direction, so it's a bit more easy to hold with both hands. So now, down to basics. If you are new in playing horn, the horn you have to hold with both hands. The right hand has to be like this. Like how you would say hi to someone, shake, shake your hand, hello. And put it directly in the bell. The horn should hang on this part of your hand, like this. The other hand, the pinky, is in the hook and the rest of the four fingers are on the buttons here. When you play the horn, make sure that both of your hands are not next to your body, like this. It's not a really healthy position. Make sure they're a little bit uh, away, something like this. The horn should hang freely in both of your hands. And when you play, try not to squeeze the horn with your hands. Now let's go on and talk more about breathing warm-up exercises. A lot of people come to me for a lesson and complain that their sound is not that beautiful, their range is not broad enough, or that their endurance is not really good, and so forth. A lot of these issues can be solved by sorting out your breathing system. The horn is a wind instrument, and for every wind instrument, the most important thing is the air. Warming up the breathing system every time before you start to practice is very important. Using the air correctly helps you basically better every aspect of horn playing. I'm going to show you one exercise which I do every time before I start to practice. Mostly when you don't play an instrument and you're walking on a street or doing something at your house, you don't need to breathe in such a way as when you play the instrument. Mostly you breathe in more tense than when you breathe out. But when you have to play the instrument, you have to do the opposite. You have to breathe in as relaxed as you can and you have to breathe out with tension. The exercise what I want to talk about is breathing in and out a certain amount of beats. You start with the same amount of beats breathing in and out. I start with 4-4 four, four. and with every next step you breathe in shorter and breathe out longer. So it would start 4 beats in, 4 beats out, the next step would be 3 beats in, 6 beats out, next one 2 beats in, 8 beats out, and the last one 1 beat in, 10 beats out. A few things you should know about before you do the exercise is that you should breathe in from your diaphragm here till the upper part of your lungs. And you should breathe in like you fill a glass with water from below till the top of the glass. Another thing you should know is that you should breathe in with a bit of a hollow sound and you can achieve that by trying to relax your throat as much as possible. An exercise which I picked up from one of my teachers is that you can imagine that you're breathing in with the same feeling as you would smell a really lovely flower in spring or uh, maybe you can imagine how the air smells 
in the spring after a thunderstorm. It's really fresh. Try to imagine that feeling and then breathe in. And what is common with these two exercises is that you should try to relax your throat and your body as much as possible. When you use the breathing system correctly, the only place where there should be tension is the diaphragm. So now let's try out the exercise. So that was it. You can also repeat each step several times. So breathe in four seconds and breathe out four seconds twice. The same for three seconds in, six seconds out, and so forth. This exercise is, is very simple and short and it takes less than two minutes to, to do. And if you do this every time before you start to practice for a couple of months, you will already start seeing improvement in your sound quality, your range, and your endurance. Thanks for watching, I hope my tips will help you and in the next lesson I'm going to talk about buzzing, mouthpiece warm-up exercises and why these are very important to improve your playing. Mm -hmm.